a new record for Alphabob hacking in null space, 1.6 million ISK per hour. That's right, a new record low. But this comes with tons of opportunities to show you how to survive in null space. As always, have your filaments ready to travel. I'm using the Noise 5 Needle Jack filament to enter null space. Before I can use a filament, I need to select partial safety in the safety settings. And then I must be in a fleet. I choose to be in a fleet with myself. This is my higher skilled Omega clone, Defina. She is flying my expensive Heron ship, which has an align time under 3 seconds and can scan down level for relic sites. Once you land in no space, the first thing to check is the local chat window. Your next move will depend on the number of players in the system. In this case, the coast is clear, I'm alone in local. I quickly turn on the anomalies filter to see which pirate space I have landed in. Drone space, bummer, there are no relic sites in drone space. I open up the map window and look for a way out of drone space. Please ignore my fumbling around with the map, I have a much better way to find the closest non-drone system with bookmarks, but I'm not prepared to show that yet. I have found a route out of drone space, only 11 jumps away. Since I still have to wait for the 15 minute filament timer to expire, it's worth it to follow this route for the possibility of relic sites. In drone space, I could hack some data sites, but they don't pay out as much as relic sites. I'm now checking the average pilots in space in the last 30 minutes statistic in maps. This will let me know if I'm traveling into systems with lots of players. Just to be really safe, you can check the ships destroyed in the last hour statistic. This is a good indication of any gate camps. Things are pretty quiet. I will speed up my trip out of drone space. Scratch that. I will just jump ahead. With the magic of video editing, I'm now out of drone space. I have one cosmic signature to scan down. Since I'm alone, I will warp to a planet and start my scanning. To help scan faster, I use the keyboard shortcuts to increase and decrease the probe range and to start the analyze process. I will go over my settings in another video, along with tips for scanning more efficiently. I still have about 5 minutes before I can use another filament, so I will scan for relic sites. If a null space area is pretty quiet, I will stay longer than the 15 minutes, but if I'm not finding many relic sites, I will consider using a filament to jump to another null space area. But now, you can watch the boring process of scanning. This is why it's important to improve all your scanning skills, it will help speed up the scanning process. Once a site gets scanned to 25%, you can see what type of site it is. This site has disappeared from my scan. This is because I have a scan filter that only shows relic and data sites. I enable the cosmic signature filter to see what site was so hard to scan down. It's a combat site, I'm not doing those. It's also a level 4 site, which is why it took so long to scan down. Okay, time for another jump ahead. This area has not been good. Finally, a relic site. It's been 20 minutes from my start into null space. Granted, landing in drone space did slow me down a bit. A level 1 site is easy to scan down, and since no one else is here, I fly directly to the site to begin hacking. I recall my probes. No need to let any incoming player know I'm scanning sites. Oh crap! The ruins container is already looted. This means someone else was here already and cherry picked this site. No big payout for Alpha Bob, but I will cargo skin the cans just in case. I usually won't hack cans if they are under 2 million ISK. 
I need to be at least 65 kilometers away to scan the cans, so I fly towards one of the containers. I now can select all the cans and start the cargo scan. I use tags to mark the cans I want to hack with an X. Since the night has been slow, I will lower my standard for which cans to hack. Okay, now you get to watch me hack two cans. This first one is a remains container, which is medium difficulty. And the other can is a rubble, which is easy difficulty. I will devote several upcoming videos to detailing my tips for playing the hacking minigame. You should be somewhat familiar with hacking before flying to null space. If not, practice in high sec. You get two chances to complete a hack on each can. If you fail two times, the can will explode without any damage to your ship. Even with the limit of an alpha clone, I can complete almost every hack. But there are those times when you scan a 50 million ISK can only to fail. Say la vie. Well, there you go. Congratulations to Alpha Bob. This is all the loot I will get on this run to know. Hacking in Null can be good and bad, but it's always different and fun. Running combat sites for ISK can get boring. Time to skip ahead to my next filament jump. I have jumped into a new null system, and the first thing I check is the local chat window. Bingo, there is another player here. I bring up the map to see if there's an adjacent empty system. I want to leave this system quickly. Always think that all other players want to kill you, and the longer you remain in this system, the more time this guy will have to set up a trap or call his buddies. As I fly towards the gate, I feel relatively safe. But a new player has jumped into the system. My heart starts to race. I'm hoping it's just a random player passing through this system. I finally do a D scan and see a heck 8. This ship is known to be a good hunting ship and he's jumping through the same gate as me. On the other side, I must fly away quick. If I hesitate, he will warp disrupt my ship and I'll be dead. I warp to a random planet at a distance of 100 kilometers. This way, if he follows me, I will have a good chance to be more than 30 kilometers away. Again, I'm in panic mode. I think I'm a good 3 to 5 seconds ahead of him, but I don't know how fast his ship can warp, and he has a chance to see which planet I have jumped to. I create a bookmark as a safe spot. As I gain my wits, I start to descan. You want to run the descan every few seconds in situations like this. I want to know if he wants me dead. If I hadn't just used my filament to jump here, I could use my next filament the moment I see combat scanned probes on descan. Once I'm at my bookmark, I will fly up or down with my micro warp drive on. 
This way, if he does combat scan my ship and jumps to me, I should be more than 40 kilometers away, and I'll have time to warp away. I have about 10 minutes left before I can use my next filament, and flying through any gate is not an option. He could have some buddies, ready to catch me. Looking back now, there are four gates, so I could have chanced running away, but it is too easy for someone to kill you on a gate. By the fact this player is still in the system, I'm sure he is hunting me. Now the cat and mouse game starts. I open the system map to see where I can hide. When hunted, you want to create several bookmarks. I fly to the far planet, so I can create Thank another bookmark. Active. I will name this bookmark with a number one, this way I can keep track of my safe spots. Drive active. Now that I have another safe spot marked with number two, I fly to spot one and will fly up with my micro warp drive on. Finally, I see combat scanner probes on my D-scan, and I have 10 minutes to avoid getting caught. I will decrease the range on my D-scan, which helps me know when he is getting close. I set a smaller range when I can't see his ship. When I see his ship appear, either on D-scan or in my overview, I will warp to spot number two. I see his ship, so I start my warp. warp drive active. As I leave, his ship appears 45 kilometers away. If my ship wasn't moving, he would have warped to me at zero kilometers. As I fly to my next bookmark, I create another safe spot mark number three. And another safe spot number four. If he continues to scan my ship, I will use these spots in order. Once you are found at a bookmark, you should delete it to be safe.
warp drive active. I'm now flying upwards at safe spot number two. I see a new player arrive in the system. I am still safe at my bookmark. On disk and I see a saber, this is a ship that can drop a warp bubble. I'm definitely not flying to a gate. Looks like my friend has given up trying to scan down my ship. drive active a few more players show up but i still feel safe flying between my three safe spots i have to assume all these guys are here for me When I see their ships close to my bookmark, I just fly to another one. Warp drive active. They have all left the system, this is puzzling. Since I'm alone now and still have 4 minutes on my filament timer, I will scan down those 4 cosmic signatures. These 4 sites are not data or relic, so I will skip ahead again. It is time to leave this lovely system. This trip has been a complete bust. What else could go wrong? I will now use my home 5 Pochman filament to return to Jita.
I still have a few seconds for the timer to run out. This filament takes me to a Pochvin system, and I must wait 15 minutes before I can use the final filament to land close to Jita or other trade hub. The other way to return from null space is to use wormholes, but there is luck involved with finding a quick wormhole path back to high space. Warp drive active. Once you are in Pochman space, you want to make a bookmark. Warp drive active. It's best to make your safe spot far away from the center of the system. This will decrease the chances of some hunter spotting you. Warp drive active. Again, once at your bookmark, fly up or down with your MWD on. You are mostly safe, but do the occasional descan. I will usually catch up on my correspondence during this 15 minute wait. Jumping ahead 15 minutes. Now I'm using my glorification one filament. This is my ticket to home. Once I land, I check how far Jita is away. I see Jita is 14 jumps away, so I set it as my destination. Not ideal, but I will open the map window to check the safety of my route home. I see five pilots in the adjacent low sec system. I first try to avoid that system. But now I will travel through a system with 11 pilots. Hmm. I fly to a planet so I can think more. I finally set my map to show the number of ships destroyed in the last hour. 14 ships destroyed, that's a gate camp. And another 6 ships destroyed, I'm trapped. I think having a second set of Pochvin filaments wouldn't be a bad idea. I could just try again for a better system to return. But alas, my options are short. I could log out in one of these stations and come back later to see if those gate camps go away. Warp drive active.
Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. But I have a better idea. I will scan for a wormhole, and then I can show you the process to use wormholes back to high space. Here I'm creating a new filter to only show wormholes. You can choose the default cosmic signature filter to display all the signature types, but I like to filter out the sites I'm not looking for. Once you fly to the wormhole, bring up the information window to see where that wormhole connects to. It says, this wormhole seems to lead into unknown parts of space. This is good, a class C1 to C3 wormhole. If the description says dangerous or deadly, stay away, these are class C4 to C6. I'm now entering the wormhole. Every time you enter a wormhole, bookmark the exit point. I like to use the name, home. In wormhole space no one shows up in local chat, unless they type in a message. So I always assume there is some cloaked ship watching me. Since I'm an alpha and don't have a cloak, I will set up a safe spot. I will also start scanning for more wormholes. I'm looking for a wormhole to high or low sect. Here I have found a wormhole, so I fly to it at a range of 100 kilometers. Warp drive active. I bring up the information window, and I see it leads to null security space. This is good if I wanted to do more exploring, but for now I just bookmark it as null. Once I bookmark a wormhole, I will choose the ignore result from the list.
warp drive active. I found another wormhole. This one says unknown space. I create a bookmark named Wormhole. Warp drive active. Since there are no other wormholes, I will jump through the unknown wormhole. When searching for a path home, I may need to jump through a chain of unknown wormholes. Again, I will bookmark this exit point, naming it home. You can name your exit points anything you like. The process of scanning for more wormholes begins. Finally, I find a wormhole that says leads to high security space. I will bookmark this one with the name, Hi. I still check the other wormholes since I have them scanned down already. Warp drive active. Here's a dangerous wormhole, which I will just ignore. Warp drive active. I have completed the check for all the wormhole locations. Warp drive active. I will now jump through the high security wormhole. Since this will be a random system, I might be more than 20 jumps from Jita. 
In that case, I would come back and check the other wormholes for a closer system. Having set my destination to Jita, I see it is 50 jumps, way too far for me. But I notice this is the domain area. I do a search for Amar, which is another trade hub. Only 7 jumps away, I will choose to go there. 7 jumps is only about 3 minutes travel time. I will skip ahead to Amar, so you can see me sell all my loot. Docking request accepted. To sell my loot, I have to move it from my ship to the item hangar in this station. From here I select the sell items choice. Now I watch all my profits add up. A total of 2.2 million ISK for a one and a half hour trip into null space. Not the typical results for hacking in null space, but I don't want everyone to think you will make 200 million ISK on every trip. Even with the very low loot amount, I had fun avoiding death and finding a way back safely. This trip did make me realize that there is a lot to learn, and I will keep making videos and answering questions to help you new alphas out there. Thank you for the support and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. Happy hacking!